Welcome to the GAO Ask Dr. Kim channel. This video clip is for dentist. Let's learn dental implant treatment with GAO. Hello everybody, I'm back and uh, I'm Dr. Kim, uh, one of five director of Global Academy of Osseo Integration. And Global Academy of Osseo Integration, GAO, is an advisory group for the Neobiotech, which is one of major implant manufacturer in Korea. Okay, so I'm gonna share a clinical case, another perforation repair during the sinus graft. 44 years female uh, came to my office. This is first initial panoramic radiograph. You can see the haziness on the left side of the maxilla. And from the CT scan, you can see the mucosal thickening on the left side maxilla. So I send the patient, I refer the patient to the ENT specialist, Otorolingo head and neck surgeon, and he gave medication including antibiotics more than a month, and he sent the patient back. And you can see the mucosal thickening was much, much decreased uh, one month before. So when you compare the first CT scan and the CT scan after medication, you can see the mucosal thickening was much decreased. The problem is the uh, discontinuity of inferior cortical of maxillary sinus on the left side. You can see, and you can consider as a perforation from the crystal. Maybe this comes from the odontogenic infection before the extraction of number 27. Maybe, may not. So this is the initial picture of the day of uh, uh, sinus graft. Okay, you can see the redness on number 27 area. So I made an incision. I was intent to move my incision to towards to the palatar to expose this area. And I did very careful dissection, but I couldn't prevent the perforation on number 27 area, which already open, uh, which already open in the CT scan. So what I did after I found the perforation was I made a window on the anterior lateral wall of the left maxilla, uh, left maxilla and I, I dissected sinus membrane until I can see uh, the move free movement of the perforated area. For this procedure, I made the window with the SLA, which is my favorite. And this technique is very well described in this textbook, says minimally invasive sinus surgery. And I keep telling you that I'll have another clip to explain how to use this instrument. So after that, I placed the color tape where the perforated area. So I cover it very carefully. Then I place the bone graft from the crystal and the lateral at the same time. So it's simultaneous bone graft from the crystal and lateral. Then after I fill the bone, this is the clinical picture from the lateral. Then I cover the perforated area with the PRF membrane, which I prepared uh, prior to operation. Then I suture it up at 2016, August 30. So this is uh, periapic radiographs of the area that I uh, grafted. And panoramic radiograph, you can see the grafted bone here on the left maxillary sinus. So from the CT scan, you can appreciate also the bone graft here on the left sinus area, left maxillary sinus area. Here might be a perforated area. I didn't put too much because the pressure, if I give too much pressure, the grafted particle will spread into the maxillary sinus. So I was afraid of that, so I didn't put too much on the perforated area. So six months later, I open it up, I re-enter for the implant placement, and this is how I placed implant on number 26 and the uh, number 27 area. And from the previous picture, this area would be the perforated area before. So I placed number 26 and number 27, and from the panoramic view. And I placed the uh, IA3 active, which is a little different with the IS2 active. And also I'll have another clip 
to ex explain the difference between IS-2 and IS-3. So this one is 4.510 and this is 4.58.5. So this is the uh, uh, immediate after implant placement CT scan and the periapical view. So after a while, I did the uncovery, like uh, this is before and after second surgery. Then, month later, I delivered final restoration for number 26 and number 27 implant supported splinted crowns with the SCRP time. It's, uh, this is a panoramic radiograph right after uh, I delivered uh, restoration on no number 26 and number 27 implants. So this is recent follow-up, 2018 March. It wasn't that too long, but I was very happy to keep in watch uh, this case. So from uh, first, after the medication, uh, before medication, after medica uh, medication, I had the bone graft, sinus graft, with the repairing of uh, perforating membrane, perforated membrane. Then this is after implant placement, and this is recent uh, follow up radiograph. So that's it for today. And I'm thinking to present another sinus, uh, sinus uh, bone graft case, a little more complicated. So I'll be back. Thank you for watching.